Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the reporting section inside the field service module. For that, first let's open the field service. Now, once you open the field service, you can see your tasks, okay, which is currently in a Kanban view, okay. And if you want to create task and all, you can do that here. So, we, I'm not talking about the task creation and all in detail in this video. So, here in this video, we'll be talking about the reporting section. So, on the top bar, you can see the menu called the reporting. If you click on that, you will get a sub menu called the task analysis. So, mainly the reporting inside the field services is all about the task analysis. Two kinds of views or two types of views are provided by Odoo inside the field service reporting, which are the graph view and the pivot view. Okay, so first let's go through the graph view. Now inside the graph view, as you can see, this is the project. And here, if you open the measures, you can see this is the count. If you want to change this and, you know, replace this count, you can put it as days to deadline, effective hours, overtime, planned hours, progress, remaining hours, remaining hours on SO, working days to assign, working days to close, working hours to assign and working hours to close. So I'm putting it back to count. So you have these much measures and if you want to change this count, you can replace it with any of these options. Okay, then you have count here and here we have the option to insert this particular view into a spreadsheet. So I'll show you how to do that. Click on insert in spreadsheet and then here you have a blank spreadsheet or if you want to put it into an existing spreadsheet, you can do that as well. So I'm choosing blank spreadsheet, confirming it. So as you can see, new spreadsheet created in documents and this is the view. So you can simply drag and drop it to wherever you want. Okay, so this is the task analysis. Now let's go back and this is how you insert a view inside the spreadsheet. Let's go back. Now this is currently the bar chart okay so well, let's go through the line chart so this will be the line chart and this is the pie chart okay now here in this view we have filters group by and favorites so under filters you have my task which shows only your task and if you want to see your team's task that can be seen here then my department's task then followed task unfollowed task i mean unassigned ones my project my favorite project, my team's project, my department project, to schedule, to do, in progress, to invoice and close. These are the statuses. Then you have today, future, past, start, not start, tasks in conflict, late task, tasks in overtime, archived ones and also add custom filter. So you have these much filters inside the task analysis. Then you have the group by option where you have the assignees, that is you can group it based on the assignees. So as you can see, you have Michelle Admin, Mark, Demo, Joel, Wills and the undefined one. So it is currently grouped based on the assignees. Then you have the stage, it will be grouped based on stages. You have these mid stages, which are like new, planned, in progress, done and cancelled ones. Then we have the project. Okay. Then you have worksheet template, customer, sale order so this is actually uh, grouped based on customers then you have sale order then you have sale order item and also you can put a start date even you can add custom groups so these are the possible things inside the graph view now let's take a look at the pivot view of the same now inside the pivot view you have the task analysis which is kind of a table view i mean table like view you have the same filter and group by options here Okay, you have the option to flip the axis. You can even expand all and download the Excel S6. So if you download the Excel S6, this will be like, you know, this. Okay, so I'm closing it. Okay, now that's it. Now, if you want to add measures, so currently we have three things which are, I mean, four things which are like count, Planned hours, effective hours and remaining hours. If you want to add more, you can simply choose it from here. So I'm choosing overtime, then progress, um, working days to assign and so on. So if you want to add all these things, you can add it from the measures here. And then you have insert in spreadsheet. Click on that. You can put this particular view inside any of the spreadsheets. So I'm choosing the previous spreadsheet itself. Confirming it. As you can see, the table is inserted here. Okay. 
So this is how you add the pivot view inside the spreadsheet. So it can either be an existing spreadsheet or a new one. Okay. And then we have the favorite section. So this is actually uh, common everywhere. Okay. You can insert this view or in, insert the link towards this view inside the article. So as you all know, articles are, you know, things which we create inside the knowledge module. Okay. So knowledge module is a new introduction. I mean, newly introduced thing. Okay. In Odo 16. So you can insert this particular view inside the article simply by clicking on insert view in article. You can choose the article from here. So after choosing it, you know, you just scroll down and here you can see that particular thing is added here. Okay, so these are the main things which we can do inside the field service reporting. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching.